So if you've seen my videos, you've probably seen me solve very similar questions on other practice tests. For whatever reason, this seems to be a new style of question that the SAT is really uh, fond of. Um, I guess it's not that new though, because uh, the SAT has been asking about situations like this for a very long time. What happens when there are no solutions? And so the way my brain thinks about this is I notice that these two equations, even though they're kind of messy, they're both lines. So you could um, just try to think of them as lines and we need to know what, when do lines have no solutions? When would two lines not intersect? Well, that only happens when they are parallel and when they're parallel, it's because they have the same slope. They have different y-intercepts, but they have the same slope. So if we're thinking in terms of y equals mx plus b, it's that m portion that we're interested in. So what I could easily do is what I've always done in my videos is I could rearrange these equations so they're in y equals mx plus b form and then compare the slopes. And I will do that at the end. But I've had a bit of an epiphany, and maybe it's just because in this particular case, we have answer choices that let us test things out. So normally, when we have uh, systems of equations and we're asked to find the solution, we just graph it, let Desmos take care of it. It's going to show us where they cross, and, and that's that. We don't need to do any algebra. But here, if we do that, it gets a little messy. So the top equation graphs no problem, but the second equation gives me this little error, and that's because there's too many variables. Um, the H is causing a problem. But if I hit this add a slider, what it's going to do is it's going to let me adjust the value for h. So it defaults, uh, at least on my computer, uh, to my iPad here to 1. Okay, so it's making h1. And I can slide this around, and you can see that depending on the different versions of h, I'm going to get different lines. That black line is kind of wagging back and forth. But I don't want to have to deal with the slider because it's a pain. So I'm going to just use the choices. And if I touch the now negative 0.4, it lets me control it manually. And so let's just go through the choices. So the first choice would make h negative 9. So let's just see. Okay, negative 9. Well, that has one solution, right? These two lines very clearly cross right near the origin there, very close to the middle. But they need to have no solutions, meaning they cannot cross at all. So that means that this is wrong. Cool. Well, all right, let's try the next one. Let's try 0. So if h was 0, now it goes straight up and down, but you can still see it's it's still crossing the purple line. If I tap it, yeah, it's going to show me that that happens. It looks like at negative a half. Um, so that's no good. Again, we need it to have no crosses at all. So let's just, again, change it manually to 9. And again, they cross. Now it's a different spot, but they're still crossing, negative 2.25. So hopefully it's D. Let's see what happens if we change it to 18. And there you go. Now... It's hard to see because they're so close together, but I'm going to try to bring them apart so you can see it more clearly. Yeah. There's a gap between them. They're close, but you can kind of tell just by looking at it that they're moving in the same direction, right? What was the word I used? That they are parallel, right? This is what's supposed to happen. They, they move in the same direction forever. So in theory, like, you don't really know for sure that it's not, like, somehow bending so slightly that they cross at, like, a million. But, like, no, that's not happening. We kind of already saw that all the other choices are wrong. And so this would be the answer. So I was able to get this without really any understanding of, of the, the math involved other than knowing what no solutions is supposed to look like on a graph, right? To me, when I talk about the, the solutions of like a system of linear equations, I'm, I'm thinking very visually about lines on a graph and where they intersect, where they cross, or in this case, that they don't cross. So... There you go. I, I think it's a hard question, and it has some difficult concepts, but maybe, you know, maybe now you can understand it. Um, if this was difficult, uh, let me show you the other way. Maybe this will be easier. What we would need to do is turn both of these equations back into y equals mx plus b form. So the top one, obviously, is, is pretty jumbled. So I have 4x minus 9y is equal to 9y plus 5. So I'm going to bring all the y's together. Uh, let's do it. I'm going to add it this way. So let's add 9y and subtract 5. So I'm going to get 4x minus 5 is equal to 18y. But when I say y has to be alone, it really has to be alone. So we got to divide by 18. And so the only part of this that really interests me is that um, now I'm going to have 4 over 18, which is 2 ninths x minus 5 over 18. So it's a little bit messy, but I don't care about that y-intercept. I only care about the slope, which is the number attached 
to the variable, the two nights. So that, that's what matters. Um, now I have to do the same thing for the other equation, um, which is also close to y equals mx plus b, but not quite. Um, I would need to divide by h. And if I do that, the y is now alone. And I'm going to split it up, 2 over h plus 4 over h times x. So you can see, too, in this y equals mx plus b, the, the, the b comes first, right? I don't really care where the, the pieces are. What really matters is, is how they're attached to the variable. So the m, the slope, is always what's attached to the x. So there's the 4 over h. And maybe I shouldn't have reduced this because now I just need to set them equal to each other, the two slopes, because they have the same slope. So 2 ninths is equal to 4 over h. It's very clear that h has to be 18. That's an ugly 18, 18. And so there you go, that's what we got originally. Um, I don't know, in my mind, that's still not that hard to do. Maybe it's just because I have such a strong habit for how to think about that. But in your mind, that might be really confusing and it definitely involves a lot more algebra than you might wanna do. So I do enjoy the fact that this calculator solution works and I will, moving forward, always try to tell you if it does work. But there, just know there might be versions of this question where either we don't have answer choices and we can't easily figure out H just by guess and check, uh, or um, we maybe are kind of forced to think about this concept in a way where we, we, don't, uh, we don't have a number to work with, so it might be harder. So uh, at the very least, um, memorize that no solutions for lines means that you have the same slope because the lines are parallel.